Alright gang, welcome back to our playthrough on Elm Creek. You join me in the harvester. Our sorghum field is ready to go. Uh, it's not going to be that great of a yield. Uh, it's about 70-ish, 80%, something like that. It's not as good as it could have been, uh, but that's okay. Uh, our goal today is to harvest this. Harvest the rest of the soybeans. And then uh, we'll see where we're at as far as time goes. If we have the time, we will also plant something between these two fields. As you remember in the last episode, we uh, combined this field over here with that over there and then uh, made this field this small field here we bought with the rest of the soybean field there so we kind of made two new fields out of a bunch of other fields so so I'm hoping I don't know if it's going to happen or not because we only have one trailer right now and the trailer we have has soybeans in it the soybean price right now is not good um it's, it's not good at all. We're probably going to have to sell it, though, today. We really don't have another option. The only thing we can do is put down a silo. Um, but that's going to cost us more money, and I don't really necessarily know if that's the, the path forward here. I, I don't think it is, personally. So, I'm hoping, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen, because we're, we've got a lot left to go, and we're already at 31%. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, the, the harvester can hold all of the sorghum that's on the field here. I just... Uh, it does not appear that that's going to be the case. So because of that reason, we are definitely going to have to sell all the soybeans. I think no matter what we did anyway, we'd have to sell them or we'd have to just leave those soybeans there uh, and have crops start to... Or the crops. <laughs> have weeds start to grow in them <clears throat> because we weren't harvesting it. Because we really don't have any room <clears throat> in our trailer. We do need a bigger trailer. Uh... I'll look in the, the used shop here in a minute, the used market here in a minute, see if there's anything out there um, that we would want. Uh, this is episode 11, 10, 11, something like that. I forget. Um, so based off of my, <clears throat> at least my, my goal here of having 20 to 25 episodes at most, we don't have a whole lot of time left. <clears throat> and we still have to buy, well, the, the, the tree's going to be in the way, but we still have to buy that plot of field way down there. And at least one of them over here. I think on the last few episodes I said I wanted to buy both of those fields, but we may not get there. We may just run out of time. But we'll see how we do. Uh, this field we did in the last episode is great. 100% fertilized. It's looking good. Uh, it needs lime and rolling, of course. Uh, but we can, we can touch that up in the next time. As long as we constantly add something new to it that makes it better, uh, I think it's going to be okay. Ideally, we get a roller today, or whenever it is that we decide to drill this field. That way we can get the yield a little bit higher here as well. But we'll see. We'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. So, we got wheat over there. I'm trying to think of what, when we're done with this, what I want to plant. Or what I want to drill into, into this field. Um, let's turn around here and let's take a look at... It's November... So, ideally, something that sells good, or it has a good price in May or June? Which I think is soybeans, typically. June soybeans. Olives, we can't do that right now. Yeah, it looks like soybeans is going to be the... Soybeans is going to be the... Uh, the one. We've done soybeans already. We have soybeans in there, so... Um, slightly repetitive, I guess, but... Oh, evidently, I turned a worker on. I don't remember turning a worker on, but evidently, I did. So, yeah, we're at 79% here, so I think the, the best idea here... And I know it's something you could do. It's kind of like a little bit of a... A trick, I guess. A trick in Farming Simulator. Is if you take some of your crop and you store it... In the train station... I mean, that's a silo for you. You do have to drive it there, and it's a far drive for us. But that is essentially storing your crop for you in a silo. The problem is you have to drive it there, right? It's a far drive. It's going to take us a long, long time to get there and back. You've seen me do it many times. So I think what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to go ahead and just set this up and I'm going to turn it off. There's no reason to put a worker on it because the worker is going to have be full by the time he gets there. So let's get uh, let's get into our Massey Ferguson here. Let's grab the soybeans. And let's go uh, take these two 
the train. I think what we'll do is we'll just take everything we have today to the train. That way we can just fill the train up with both the crops and sell it all in one... One full swoop, so we don't have to pay for the train twice. But I love this little new track we put in. I really do. I really, really like it. We won't, um... We won't be combining it when we buy this field down here. When we buy it, we won't be combining it with these two fields that we just made there. Oh, boy. That's heavy. Good thing I got it. Good thing I was able to hold down the brake on that one. Uh, we will not be combining um, this part of the field with this one at all. It, it'll, this will be its own field by itself. Just so you guys know. It would turn into a little bit of an awkward shape in, in this series. I'm just going to keep them for the most part relatively normal shapes now I understand that one field at the top that we connected it's kind of an awkward shape and we turned part of it into our into our makeshift yard but I don't really want to do a whole lot of that is what I guess I'm trying to get at if that makes any sense see you guys when we get to the train alright we made it to the train and if I can get the camera to work with me here Dump the soybeans in here. I don't know why it tells me I have no access to this land. <laughs> so weird. So weird. Pulling back up here. I went ahead and uh, turned the worker on. I knew he wasn't going to get very far. <clears throat> but. At least get part of it. You know. Under control in the process here. So let's take a look here while that's happening. Um, how are strawberries doing? How many do we have in there? We've got quite a lot in the storage. Quite a lot indeed. Um, we've sold them once before, but I forget um, when the exact best time. When we sold them, I don't think it was the exact best time. Uh, it's coming up. We're moving up. Moving up the ladder here. Um, this, I think this is about the same time we sold them last time. It was about $100 off what the best would be. Uh, a little less, I guess, if we go to the fast food restaurant there. 769 But This is already 56% full, so this is not going to take very long to fill up at all. I think what we'll do in the meantime... Turn the doits on. We haven't uh, used the doits in a while. Hook it up to the trailer here. We'll start loading up some strawberries. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, we do have super strength. Well console version of Super Strength on for this series. It's not really Super Strength. The console doesn't have that ability, but it has the ability for you to pick up pallets and stuff if you turn on the mod. But that's it. Some pallets you can pick up already. It depends on the actual implement they're utilizing and just depends on the, the actual weight of them in general. But other ones do not. Whoa, what are we doing here? Why are we jumping around? The, so I checked the uh, used market on the way back. I didn't show you guys, but I checked it on the way back. There's nothing out there uh, besides a nice tractor. Um, it is a very, very nice tractor. By far the biggest horsepower tractor we would have. Um, and as much as I would like it, I don't really think it's the best move to, to do for the series, considering what I said I wanted to accomplish, and uh, we need money to buy those other plots of land in. That's something we don't currently have, so even if we did utilize the money we have now and selling one of the other tractors, like this probably this Deutz, and uh, some of the crop, it, it would it would cut into that ability to buy another plot of land. So, we are not going to be doing that, unfortunately. Unless something crazy happens and we can get enough money where we can get the plot of land I want and also get the tractor, but I just don't see that as a possibility.
A lot more strawberries this time than what we sold last time. A lot more. Okay, we'll stack them on there. We're probably going to have to anyway. It seems like we got a lot in here. Might have to make two trips even. We're definitely going to make two trips. There's a lot in there still. Holy smokes. I can probably fit one more stack on the back here if I do it correctly. Attempt it. If I go like this. Yeah. And they'll be kind of slightly falling off, but the straps will hold them in there. The straps will keep them from going anywhere. Stacking them up three high now, gang. It's not perfect, but we're going to take it. When we're stacking them this high, it gets a little more difficult to uh, make them look neat and pretty. When you're doing it by hand, I should say. This is perfect. This is giving us... <clears throat> Enough time to do this has given the uh, worker almost a full tank again, which is good for us. <coughs> Excuse me, gang. <clears throat> Mostly over the, uh, a little sinus infection, cold. I still have a little bit going on. I probably still sounded a little bit in my voice, but it's it's mostly uh, gone now. So, but occasionally I still will probably have to cough. <coughs> I'm not sure I would consider stacking any more than that, but. I think we're going to give it a shot here. There's not much left. We're going to try it. Got them all in there. It's not pretty, but we got them all. All right, where's the... Uh, here it is. Because he is maxed out. I think we're going to have to make a trip to the train yard and come all the way back here again. And then go back and take the sorghum again. I don't think there's going to be enough room in here. go. And we are maxed. It's kind of what I thought was going to happen. See you guys back in the train. Another trip, another uh, 8,000 liters going into the, uh, the train yard here. The train silo, I should say. The worker, uh, it did say that the worker completed his task, <clears throat> or her task. 
Which I kind of expected. There wasn't much left there. As long as they did do that final strip. Sometimes, you know how these workers are. Sometimes they're, they're morons. And they, uh, think they're done and they're not. <clears throat> but since that field hasn't been modified at all really yet. And it's just out of the box field. It, uh... I would expect that they, they did it properly. So you guys back the farm. Alright, we're back. It does look like uh, the worker did finish it properly. Um, from the angle that the uh, the worker saw, because where we left off, he was uh, facing the other way. So he did do his job. We'll have to get in here, turn on the, uh, the harvester, put the pipe out. Put whatever's left of the sorghum in here, and then we'll get uh, the worker going on the soybeans over there. If I can get into the right vehicle. <laughs> All right, not too shabby. Worker should be good there. Let's take this almost 2,000 liters of sorghum to the train yard. Alright. The last bit of sorghum is going into the train yard here. The train silo. So I'm hopeful, uh, I'm hopeful that the price will be okay once we, uh, once we're able to sell it. So I don't know, um, there's already some soybeans in there, clearly you saw that, um, so I'm hoping that it's going to be a really big payday for us here. Uh, when you factor in all the amount of liters that we have, it should be pretty good. 2767 and 3714. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, the soybeans are definitely, that's definitely going to be helpful. I mean, I wish it was 6,000 like it can be. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. There's not a whole lot we can do. We could hold it in there longer. We certainly could. Um, maybe we should. I don't know. Um, does mean you have to pay for the, the train twice, though. Uh, but by that time, we probably would have something else that's har that's ready to harvest and uh, ready to go in there, too. So, hmm. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna stick with the plan. What our original plan was is to sell everything, and I'm hoping. I think this one down here is like ninety something thousand dollars. I think. So I'm hoping the amount we get out of all this adds up to being about ninety eight thousand. It probably won't. I'm probably wishful thinking, right? I'm probably doing some wishful thinking right now, but that's that's my hope. All right, we'll leave this here for now. Let's get into the dolts here, and we'll uh, take these strawberries and sell them. Because that is a hefty amount of strawberries. 12,000 liters of strawberries. This should be... This should be probably about $11,000. Right? And it's still the fast food restaurant. <clears throat> so, uh, it's just right here. Don't have to go that far. Let's see what we get. I'm afraid some of these aren't going to sell because they're sideways. This one. Selling now.
Uh, looks like we're getting a lot more than what I thought. Nope. I was way under. <laughs> 9,622. I think I said a lot $11,000. That's alright. That, uh, that gets us part of the way there for that field back there, right? It edges us ever so closer to being able to grab that field. Now we probably could also sell if we have to, like if we, if we need to, we probably could sell some of this manure, right? We probably have a decent amount in there. 18,000. I don't know if we're going to need all that. There's still tons of straw in there. There's still 24,000 strolls trying to get through. Um, I don't know what the price of if, what selling manure goes for. If you can even sell it on this map without having to put something else down. You may have to put something else down to sell it. Um, let me see if there's anything in here. I, I might have looked this up previously, but I forget. Uh, there is a place to sell manure. Um, 107. I mean, it, that's pretty much as high as it can get, so I feel like maybe we should sell some of that. You know what? We're going to. We're going to sell some of it. We don't need all of it. We'll need a little bit of it for that field over there right now, but we're not going to need all of it. So we could probably sell what are, what's already in here. Maybe, you know, top it off and then go sell it. We'll just see what we get. It's not going to be a ton, but it's... I mean, it's just free stuff we get off the ground, right? It's not like it's, uh... It was a hard thing for us to get. I should be able to unload it, right? Let's just make sure that... I probably have to get away from this first. I don't want to unload it right now, but I'm just... Might not let me unload it, actually. I don't see anywhere that says unload now, but we'll, we'll just take it over there and we'll see what happens, I guess. Worst thing that happens is that we took a drive for no reason. Alright, old French dove... That's, that's us, isn't it? Isn't that right here? Yeah, that's here. We don't want that. The biogas. Where's that at? Okay, that's not too far away. Let's go see if we can sell some. It's probably going to give us... I don't know. Not a lot, truly. Um, may not even pay for the, the drive over there, but... Let's just see if this is a reasonable option for us or not. It probably will not be. But uh, we'll take a look. Alright, pulling up here. Let's see. Let's see. I turned on the uh, little icon so I can figure out where to go. I think I've... Maybe not in this playthrough, but I think I've been over here previously and, and on my main channel before I separated the, the farming in this one. And I think it was right here. Uh, yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Not going to let me do it. At least it doesn't appear it. Let's drive back up here and let's let's cycle through all the buttons and make sure that we're not missing anything. Probably have to get just a trailer to do it, more than likely. Yep, yep. All right, well, it was worth a shot. I kind of figured it wasn't going to work, but it was worth a shot. We could utilize the the trailer if we need to. Um, we're going to utilize this anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, and it was already maxed out almost anyways at 80-something percent, so it's not like we added that much more to it. All right, we got it back here. Uh, in the meantime, on the way here, the... Uh, the worker had uh, a full grain tank here, so let's go ahead and unload it. I went ahead and backed it up a little bit already. Because what I was going to do is if he was facing the right way, I was literally just going to... Uh, go ahead and unload it <coughs> partially off camera, and then uh, finish it. When we got back here, but that wasn't the case, so I went ahead and backed him up already just to save us a little bit of time here. Um, 
I think what I'm going to try, and I don't know if it's going to work, it's going to have to be, um... Uh, it's going to have to be after, um... We've unloaded the soybeans out of the trailer here. Um... Uh, we're going to try putting some in the trailer here and see if it lets me do it. I'm just a very small amount, hopefully. And then I can just dump it, you know, on the side if it doesn't work. Um, I'm going to try to sell it back into the same thing. It says it's a sell point, so we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's only a dollar difference, so I should have probably just tried it there to begin with. But, I mean, maybe it's not a sell point, even though it says it is. Who knows? But we'll figure that out. So, 26,000 is what we have right now. This field is 91,000, right? So, I don't think it's out of the realm that we'll reach it. I don't. Uh, I just think it'll be very, very close if we do reach it. Uh, and the problem could be is that we don't have enough to, you know, seeds and fertilizer and everything to, to do this field. That would be the only, the only downfall there. And I know that seeds aren't even a thousand for a bag and that would be probably plenty and then it's like two thousand for the fertilizer um, so we, we you know three or four thousand dollars if we have that extra we should be great but if not um, well you see you see what I'm talking about so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, working on that the new field here uh, we'll start putting some manure down on it. Because we might as well. I'll probably put uh, a worker on this as well, once we do a pass here. Um, that way it's all hit perfectly. Nothing's missed. And then I'll take over the work for the worker doing the harvesting, finishing the harvesting up. Because we did a lot of this in the last episode, so I don't really want to uh, do the same thing again for you. I want to try to change it up every episode as much as I can. I mean, it's very limited. I mean, you're doing a lot of the same things no matter what you do, right? But you get what I mean. Perfect. She's, she's doing some work for us. That's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So let's head back over here. Let's see how much we get this filled up. Then we'll take it off the worker, finish it up, and uh, we'll take this to the trade and we'll sell it at the trade and see what kind of money we get here. I think that is corn over there. It certainly looks like corn, so that means we're going to have to rent a corn header again if we do buy it. Uh, when it's ready to harvest now. It'd be great to do it now when it's ready to harvest. Uh, but I think it just depends on if... Uh, if we're able to get it. That worker turns around. We'll take it over for him. But yeah, that's definitely corn. 98% uh, yield bonus. It is ready to harvest, so it would be ideal if we were able to buy it now. It really would. get this going there gang
Alright gang, moment of truth. Let's see what kind of money we get out of all this. Hopefully the train's here. I went ahead and rented it ahead of time. It is not here yet. So let's start taking the the, the, uh, the trailer back here. We'll drive for a little bit, then we'll jump over here and see if it's arrived yet or not. Maybe it'll be coming uh, <clears throat> backwards from the way that we're, we're actually going forward. Like maybe what I just said probably makes absolutely no sense. Maybe it'll be coming um, from the direction that we're <coughs> going right now. That way we can see it. And we'll know when it's close. But it might not be. If you look at the map, sometimes it'll tell you where it is. Uh, it is not on the... Yes, it is. It's coming the way we're coming. Perfect. So once we pass it here, and go for a little bit further, we'll know it's uh, time to jump onto the train. There it is right there. I can see it in the distance. There it is. Perfect. So probably by the time we get to the end of this, our neighbor's uh, field here that they're allowing us to drive through because there's nothing in it but grass, we can uh, jump over to the train. Saves us a little bit of time by doing this as well. Moment of truth. There's 255 bucks that went out. Woo! We got a little swirly there. Yep, it's just now getting there, so it's perfect. We can go ahead and visit it. Look at that. Perfect timing. Let me on! Let me on! What's your guys' thoughts? You think it's gonna happen? Are we gonna make it? To 98,000? Really, 100,000 is what we really want to hit? Or are we not going to make it? Can I open that up? Open cover, there we go. Sorg in there. Nice. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. 13,000, a little over 13,000 soybeans, just under 10,000 liters of sorghum. I think we're going to be short. But I think we'll be pretty close. What is the worker doing? Okay, we're just gonna stop the worker for a minute. They, uh... They have really screwed that up. <laughs> I mean, they got most of it. The, it's like those poles or whatever were in the way. Which is weird, because that's just a standard map. I haven't done anything to that. Or standard part of the uh, map, I should say. The standard field. That's why it's always better just to go around the headland, but we just didn't do it this time, just went ahead and threw it on a worker. We really didn't want to waste that time on that yet. Here we go, let's get ready to throw us out. 77,000, we did it. We got there, gang. We did it. Whew. That is exciting. We're going to go ahead and buy that field right now, because it's ready to harvest. We do have to rent a header, but uh, we've done that before. It's still going to give us $9,000. Objective 1 out of 3 has been completed. And we're on episode 11, 10, 11. I forget what I said it was. I think it's 11. We got a chance. <clears throat> we got a real chance here, gang. Let's touch this up real quick.
probably need to uh, go get the other tractor pretty quickly here as well, but... It's really nice, though, now that I don't have to wait uh, a month to do the other fertilization. I can just do it all in the same month before everything germinates. And that way it can just sit there and it's ready to go. We're going to have to pick up more. We're going to run out. That's okay. I was hoping we were going to be able to get this done, but there's no way. There's no way. Fifty-six liters. We're literally going to be right towards the end and have to go fill some up and come back. It's kind of annoying. So we're going to drill the rest of this field. Um, we'll probably put a, a time lapse in doing that whole process here, gang. Uh, we're not going to touch that field we just bought until the next episode. We'll do that in the following episode. Um, because it's going to be a bit before this field is ready to go. Um, I s think we're going to put soybeans back in. Um, the field that we're actively in the process of working on. It just seems to be the best uh, setup, since we don't have a silo currently, to uh, do that. Like I said, we can always put it in the... Um, the train silo if we want to, but... It's a lot of driving back and forth. Ideally, we can sell our trailer and upgrade it too. Um, we really need a bigger trailer. It's just, it's a lot of trips to the train back and forth. And, and I would love to be able to do it just in one trip. Instead of having to go back and forth through all those trips, it just would be tremendous. A tremendous amount of help. Save us a bunch of time. For that, take this back here, go pick up the drill, get a worker going on the drill, take our trailer back, <clears throat> potentially go out there and look at other trailer sizes or get a roller. Realistically, it's the rollers what we want. Rollers are not too expensive, but the problem with it is we only have two, tr two tractors currently. We need a third one if we're going to roll... Uh, at the same time uh, as we're wanting to do everything else. It just makes more sense. So, um, hmm. I guess for now we will uh, once again not do a roller, even though I said I kind of wanted to do that at the beginning. We got another field out of it, so I think it's, I think it's okay. So let's get the, uh, the drill out. Let's see what kind of It's actually okay, with the exception of seeds. There's a little low on seeds, but we may get by. I don't know if we will, though, actually. Mm. That's fertilizer, so that ain't gonna work. We may not be able to complete it. But let's see. Let's just see. Selling the strawberries, though, is what really did it for us, right? We got $9,000 out of that. If we didn't have that, we would be kind of where I thought we'd be. $1,200, $1,000 left. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Shit. Back it up. Just wasted a little bit of seed right there, didn't we? Worker to work here. Let's get let's get the uh, the trailer back with the other Massey Ferguson tractor. 
We gotta get the sprayer out, we gotta get spraying. But, uh, we really need the worker to get a little, a little work done first before we start spraying. So you know what? Real quick, before we move on here, let's just let's just peek at trailers real quick and see if there's anything out there that's going to be a little bit better uh, as far as the size go. Well, currently we have eight thousand liters, so ideally something that's in the twelve thousand liter range would be um, great if we could get to there. I don't know if we can. How much is uh, how much do we have currently? If we sell this, probably about five and a half ish thousand. Which would put us at 16. Let's just say that. Let's just say 16. Um, hmm. I bet there's not going to be anything out there for 16. Well, really, we want it to be less than 16, honestly. But you get what I mean. 10,000. That's the one I keep looking at, right? I keep looking at this one. That is the upgrade I was looking at. 10,000 we could do. We could do 16. See, this one has the ability to do 1,000, but every time I do that, the uh, harvester won't dump it into there. So... why they're more expensive for those tires. Hmm. We'll just use the lizards. I don't want to spend any extra money. I mean, the fenders would be nice, but we don't really need them, do we? I don't need to spend the money on that either. I really don't. I just don't like blue and yellow. $300. We'll go with it. We'll spend the extra 300 to change the, the rims. I don't like those yellow rims at all. So let's go take this and sell it. And get a little bit of our money back. We're not extremely poor. That's going to be... It's going to be real nice. That's going to be really nice for us. Repair it, repaint it, absolutely will sell for five one six eight. That's what I said, about five thousand dollars. Up to six thousand. Let's just go ahead and repair this while we're here. I know it's a little bit of money that we probably don't really want to spend, but we need to keep it in tip top shape. It's the best tractor we got. This is going to be a great help for us. Alright, let's get back to the farm here. We'll uh, jump into the uh, sprayer and we'll get the field sprayed. And uh, I'll remiss, unfortunately, we'll have to wait one more episode for a roller. We'll buy a roller from uh, the profit we get. This is pulling me over the place. Maybe this is not the right idea. Um, sliding all over the place. Maybe you can't really pull it. Maybe it's too big. Well, it's too late now. We'll have to make do with what it is. Um, what was I saying? Um, in the next episode, when we harvest the corn, we'll utilize the money from that to buy a roller, and we can roll that field, and then uh, move it forward. We'll have a roller for all the fields. And maybe we'll be have enough money to buy another smaller tractor. Um, could be another Dolts like that Dolts that we got. It's a pretty decent uh, tractor for the horsepower and the uh, the amount. 
another something like that might be useful for us. <clears throat> I'm just going to set this here for now. I can sit outside. It's not a big deal. Even though we have plenty of room in there right now. Really don't need to. Alright, let's fill this up. Still some left in that IBC, so that's good. Unfortunately, the uh, worker has not got as far as I would like him to get, or her, um, but that's okay. We'll do a little bit of this here, and then probably what I'll do, gang, is just allow the, uh, do the rest of this off camera, and uh, complete it that way. Because I've said, when I did flip it over to start doing uh, a normal series where I talk to you and uh, give you my thoughts instead of just being a full time lapse that I still wanted to keep these a little bit shorter around the 30 minute mark and uh, we have surpassed that mark already so uh, we'll do a couple stripes here and there and then uh, we'll do the rest uh, we'll let the workers do the rest for us Starting to come together here, gang, though. It really is. Really starting to come together. This is going to be good. We're going to make, uh... We're going to start making some heavy, heavy profits when, uh... When it comes time to harvest both the field over there and this field that we're actively in the process of working right now. They're going to they're gonna pay us a lot. So with that, gang, uh, we will leave the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. It helps me out a ton. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, ideas, you know the drill. Let me know down below. Uh, subscribe to my second channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, until next time, gang, we will see you all in the next episode.